Hello YouTube, it's G Dylan C here again today and welcome to Portable PS2 Mods. In this video today we're going to be looking at my Portable PS2 wiring up um, the circuit board and battery um, and other various um, uh, things I have yet to do uh, ready to make our Portable PS2 the Mega Charge version 3. Now, as you can see here, my room is a little bit of a mess this morning because this morning uh, we have been cutting the circuit board away, as you can see. I've cut a lot. Is the focus? Yep, yeah, sorry. Um, cutting the uh, circuit board, as you can see. Um, there there would have been the, the right second USB. But obviously, we've cut away. Uh, down at the bottom here, we've cut away a little bit more so it's straight. Um, I had a problem here this morning. I thought I went actually into the circuit board, but lucky enough, it's at fine. Um, if we look at the top here, I've cut a hell of a lot away. Uh, at the top here, it's almost nearly a centimeter. I've taken away. I've desoldered the the jack and cut away more. If we have a look here, that's what uh, both said. Both the same seventy nine thousand three motherboards, and as you can see there. And then you look here, I've cut away. And the idea is so I can fit into this. This will be our casing for our portable PS2. There's our screen. Basically, it will just sit on the top. Everything will be inside and it will just sit. And obviously, this time around, um, uh, things will be a lot more better. Obviously, my prototype, um, my prototype was fine, but it overheated very quickly. Uh, there was wires everywhere, so this time around, um, with the experience I've gained, um, we should, we, this will be a lot more easier to do. So, there's our uh, Logitech Netplay controller again. Obviously, the controller is from obviously the, the prototype. Obviously, I'm going to sand it down a little bit more and smooth it down. And obviously, our PlayStation will sit exactly inside that. Which is just, just literally, it's a tight fit, but it does fit. Um, and obviously today I've been testing our battery as well. Um, just a quick overview of the battery. Uh, this is always seems to be the age you wire up the battery. Well, I have here a 7.4 volt battery, which is two single cell 3.7 lithium polymer batteries. And they're wired to give me 7.4, 7.4 volts. I think it's about six or 7,000 uh, milliamps of power. Um, there's our 7.4 volt PCB that is a must you must have that uh, our charging jack our th uh, three pin on and off switch and obviously I've got my wires going here that would that's going to be our wall power jack I've just wired it up literally to uh, the circuit board just for testing and obviously our screen also goes from the, the power source on the circuit board here so that's uh quick and let's show you how it works basically the third pin goes to our dc jack the power uh, the positive uh the second one goes to the pcb obviously that one there goes to your battery and the first one goes directly to the circuit board and all your grounds are wired up together which i've got here all wired there and and obviously our screen our tft screen uh all i'm doing today is just testing the frame at boot uh, let's see, because obviously the issue I've had, um, once I've done this, and I'll be ready to make this. So, let's fire up. Let's just turn them on. So we know power's going there. Also, I've just got my fan in there. I keep the fan in just to test things, that things are working. Obviously, the three brief uh, screens come up. Um, my sound, I haven't got no sound. Obviously, I'm just testing at the moment. So, yeah, so, and that's about it. making our, uh, that's basically our overview of our circuit board. Obviously, our heat shield, obviously, I've cut it down to size. I've cut the fan, which is going to be flipped upside down. Go about there. Obviously, in our casing, I've drilled the hose out. Uh, that there was part of the actual casing, so I'm just going to cover that up. And, obviously, our controller using the Logitech, it's already done for you. It's basically a case of gluing it or screwing it, whatever you choose. And um, yeah, it seems to be working fine. 
so that's a quick uh, video demonstration of where I am. Um, questions that uh, people always commonly answer. Um, obviously, how do you power the screen? The screen, the TFT screen just powers exactly from the the port. Um, port of the PlayStation where the power is and that's where the battery is, is too um, battery 7.4 volt if you that's the pretty much the common uh, setup of wiring for the battery and I've always used that and it seems to work pretty well uh, battery life lasted my about three hours three and a half something like that I'm not sure if like you say these are genuine like they're supposed to be um, but yeah, it seems to it lasts about three, three and a half. Um, so yeah, um, the problems I raised with the prototype. Always good to make a prototype because the prototype I took a lot of issues. Uh, like on the prototype, I never had, I never cut the circuit board away. I still had the push button ribbon cable. Obviously, I've now got the. I'm still using the our. Uh, tax switch board um like I said I've got no single ones yet but obviously I would just be using the single one for our PlayStation um like I said I never cut the circuit board but now I have I've cut it right down and cutting the circuit board is out of my comfort zone but I thought if you want it smaller you're gonna have to start learning and if you want to build a portable and not sure because people ask people for tutorials there is a site you can go on which I went on the first place when I first started out how to go about making one and that is mod retro forum and if you click if you type it in you'll see a list you'll see placed uh, ps2 and there'll be a load of questions there there's a beginner's guide and it shows you in pictures how to desolder the circuit board how to wire up the tack switch and all that and that is a good place to get started and that's where i went to and that's where i went almost a year ago to see how stuff is wired up and i'm ready to go now Just so I was just feeling the thing that's been on for that's actually quite still quite cool. Um, with, even though the fan's not there, it's still quite as warm but not hotish. So that's quite good. I can feel the air there. That's good. So I've got my hand. So yeah, it's still pretty pretty cool. And obviously my fan's gonna go there. Obviously it's literally just gonna jet the air right out. And um, that is about it. To we're, we're ready to get going, but I see a lot of people putting comments about making a build. It's time consuming. Uh, to but like I say, mod ww mod retro mod retro forums, and it will show you all questions about battery, how to wear up beginners. There's one on there that's a beginner's guide to making a portable, and it's really good. And that's like I say where I first started off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, that will probably be it for a while while I complete this and hopefully the next video I do will be a completed um, mega charge um, quickly before I go I want to show you this one this is the supercharge with disk drive uh, wires are everywhere at the moment it does work uh, there's just one or two uh, a couple of issues I've got with uh, uh, the memory card but apart from that it works pretty good so hopefully I get that one done as well uh, but I just use that to play in the evening or something like that um, but yeah it's all good like I say comment like or subscribe and please ask a question if there's a question that you, you're unsure about and I'll try and answer it the best I can and point you in the right, di right direction because I've asked questions about making portables and you get the answer that you want to get um so yeah, all ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.